Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will talk about block diagram fundamentals. So, whenever we talk about a control system, it is consisting of number of components working together to perform a particular task and uh, to show the function performed by each component, commonly a diagram is used and this is called as block diagram. Now, let us take the example of a home heating system. And uh, in this example, you can he uh, see here that it is consisting of number of uh, components and these components are shown by different blocks. For example, here we have used blue wall, heating system, then temperature sensor and they are working together to perform a particular task. And in this case, the task is keeping house temperature warm. And uh, the definition of block diagram will be block diagram is a pictorial representation of the cause and effect relationship between input and output of the system. Now the simplest form of the block diagram is a single block with one input and one output. Now this is our block and it is having x as an input and y as a output. This is the simplest form of block diagram. and here this rectangle representing block usually consisting of the description of the system then name of the element or a, the symbol for the mathematical operation. So, this, this may be the different uh, thing that may come into this block. Here the arrow represents the direction of information or signal flow. So, this is the direction of signal flow and this uh, arrow oh, nothing but the signal x and y that is input and output. The next point is components of block diagram. The system components are also called as elements of the system and in this case there are different uh, four components. The first one is system or block then branches will be there then summing point or summing junction and last one is pick up point or we can call it as take up point. So, these are the different components that will be a part of our block diagram. We will discuss them one by one. The first one is block. Each block or uh, of the block diagram in case of our control system and uh, especially when we talk about a block diagram. I, the block uh, this is our block here and this one is nothing but a transfer function. So, in case of our block generally the transfer function is written inside that block and uh, it it uh, we can say that it uh, describes the transfer function of the block. The second one is branches. Now, branches we have already discussed about it. It is nothing but the signals. So, this is is R of S that is input signal and C of S this is out uh, this is output signal in case of block the the arrow going inside it is nothing but input signal and going outside is the output signal. The next important component is summing point whenever more than one signal uh, is to be added or subtracted then summing point is used. Generally, this summing point is indicated by a small circle like this and here this arrow again will be the incoming arrow or maybe one outgoing arrow like this. So, this is outgoing arrow and these two are uh, here incoming arrows and this will also consist of the proper sign this may be plus sign or minus sign on the block. For example, this x is plus here also y is plus. So, the output will be the addition here both are plus. So, algebraic sum is x plus y. Now, let us consider the other example here x is having positive sign and y is having negative sign. So, we, the resultant that is output will be x minus y because y is having negative sign. So, 
here it will remain as it is so it is x minus y the third is this one it is not compulsory that it is always having the two signal it may consisting of number of input signal and and output signal so in this example here x is positive y is also positive and z is also positive all these are the incoming arrows and the resulting uh, resultant will be x plus y plus z so this is the resultant now uh, in some books there may be a cross inside that circle so it will look like this and here this r1s r2s and r3 of s all these are having uh, incoming sign so these are the incoming signal so r1s is positive r2s is also positive but r3s is negative so the resultant c of s will be r1 of s plus r2 of s minus r3 of s so this is generally a summing point and it is represented like this now next point is take off point or we can call it that pick up point so take off point will uh, is used to distribute a signal the input signal may be distributed uh, to the several points and it is in, uh, distributed like this for example this is the x as a input signal and uh, this is our take off point here this x is distributed on this point like this here it is distributed in three branches so th this is the work of take off point also uh, this this uh, distribution may come toward the input also so here this x is distributed here to the um, to to further point like this and it may come toward the input so this is our take off point which may acts as a which may be used for the feedback purpose so the point from which the signal is taken for the feedback purpose is called as take off point now the last important terms uh, are forward path and feedback path the name itself indicate forward path it is the direction of flow of signal from input to output if we move from this this is our input signal r of s and output signal is c of s if we move from input to output then it is called as forward path so this one is our forward path that is from input to output and if we move in the direction from that is signal if the signal move from direction output to input then such a path is called as feedback path so this is our feedback path in case of a closed loop system now let us uh, learn about the advantages of a block diagram the functional operation of the system can be observed so it is the simplest form and you can easily observe the function uh, functional operations of the system then uh, block diagram gives the information about performance of the system then you uh, block diagram is used for the analysis and design of control system and last one is it is very simple to construct the block diagram of a big and a complicated system there this so these are the advantages of block diagram and generally we use the block diagram whenever there is a complex system now let us talk about the disadvantages of block diagram the first disadvantage is the block diagram for the given system is not unique so when uh, whenever if if you want to uh, uh, if you want to draw a block diagram it may be different from person to person you may uh, draw it uh, differently as well as i can draw it differently then the source of energy of the system is not shown in the diagram in case of block diagram the source of energy is not shown then does uh, block diagram does not give any information about physical construction of the system and last point is in the procedure of reduction of block diagram algebra some important function may be omitted or hidden so this is again important point some uh, the, the rule for the reduction of block diagram is used there and uh, some important function may be omitted or his hidden 
and there is no check for it so these are the disadvantages of block diagram in the next video i will talk about the derivation of transfer function of a closed loop system whenever we take uh, such a system we have to find out the transfer function that is laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input so we will find the transfer function in our next video or you can directly move toward the reduction of block diagram thank you and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you